This is a bloody nightmare, guys. Trying to get the cold right. Let's try that one more time. Thank you. <laughs> Stop it. Don't do this to me. But this is all part of the process, guys. All about logistics. Like, good job I got here on time, just in case. All right, take a breather. But, um, yeah, just at Pirate Studios, as I mentioned, for the podcasting at the front door. I do like the fact that this is kind of like a self, um, self-recording, self kind of self-made type of studio, do-it-yourself. But little things like this, when there's errors, especially when it's a technical error, it'd be great to have like a team member on site. But I do believe they've got a live chat and a WhatsApp as well to quickly talk and they get back to you straight away, which is good, I suppose. But it'd be great to have someone physically here to assist. Oh my God, guys, one minute. Finally, guys, we are here. I do not understand what the hell just happened then. It was a struggle to get here first of all and then it was a struggle to get in with all the access codes but i'm so glad that i've booked extra hour just in case with any technical stuff but this is the studio guys yeah so um for those who are already into podcasting already and know about pirate studios um, and podcasting studios generally you would know the drill um, but as I said earlier, this is kind of like a self-recording type of studio. So there's no like physical people here um, to support you. You've got to know your sh- BS. I'm joking. You've got to know what you've got to know. You've got to do your thing. Um, yeah, let's get to it. I actually got here about two hours ago. and I did want to record from the very beginning, record my whole journey and document it as I like to do. But like I said, it was a complete palaver. So I decided to take a break, a bit of a breather and show you now that I feel much better. Um, so that's just a bit of a background story there. And so far it's all good. So in this studio you can have up to four people, well up to six people actually. There's enough room for six. I like the fact that, you know, there's space to put all your belongings and stuff. We've got the um, machine box, I believe that's what it's called. Correct me if I'm wrong, folks. Um, for all the, obviously, the mixing, the recording, the volumes as well. We've got all the mics, headphones, comfy seats. You can charge your phone as well. I've got all my notebook. I feel like I'm talking loads. but So it's about taking that first step forward. Yeah, let's get down to business. First things first, as you can see, we have got four spaces, we've got everything that we need. I feel like I don't even know the name (laughs) of these mics. That's how I know this is just not my world, but it's cool anyway. That's cool with me, we've got all the headphones. Comfy seats. Got my notebooks. everything that you need right here so i'm obviously on number one so we turn the volume up and down i wouldn't have that can you hear that guys testing one two three okay i'm back guys so first things first is what i'm gonna do is the most important bit make sure that i actually have a what's it called sd card an sd micro card oh my god so i brought this one from if you can see it from argos um it's either a micro card to use to record and save the files too or it is your laptop and I thought I don't really like traveling around with expensive items and equipment in case obviously it breaks and stuff so I decided not to bring a laptop and I won't be using a laptop moving forward to begin the podcasting journey let's just get it in okay we should be on let's adjust this sit back and relax So guys, what I'm actually going to do first, I have got a couple of prompts here. I've got like the podcast description I'm going to play around, um, the intro and outro I want to practice today, 
and also I've got my mission, vision and purpose statements for my brand. Uh, in case you don't know, did I even introduce myself properly? Let's start there before I continue. So those of you who are new to my channel, I am based in the UK, as you can tell by my accent, for all my international fans out there. I am West Midlands based dance and creative entrepreneur. I'm a producer. I am a arts administrator. I am also a community dance practitioner as well. And I am so, so committed to amplifying the voices and the vision of dance. So passionate about international and cultural collaboration and exchanges storytelling i feel like i've just said a lot i went right around the show scrap that and let's start again <laughs> take two i am wasting so much time this studio is booked and paid for for like an hour and i have spent half of the time chit-chatting with you guys no disrespect i love you really and i thank you so much for watching um but this is the whole point of me showing you a little bit about my journey let's just adjust that there we go there we go. Okay, yeah. So, who am I? Just watch this space as I figure out what the hell I am doing right now, guys. So, I'm just try <laughs> trying to adjust this. I want to sit back and relax. Hello. Is that right, guys? You think? I want to be able to sit back and relax. You know what? I'm not walking to the studio again with these creepy seats because it's too far back. I'll just get the basic armchairs instead. I think we're good to go. Yeah. Headphones on. We gotta do this again. Okay. Welcome to Insights Podcast, a series of conversations with multidisciplinary artists and creatives who are reshaping the arts and culture world in the UK. Each episode brings a new perspective around community, culture, and identity. Hosted by myself, a dance entrepreneur based in the West Midlands and founder of Unique Tay. <laughs> that was so good. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, calm down Tay, calm down. Um, and just so you know, I've got all my paperwork here that I've printed off. I have booked a PR company. I don't think I've mentioned that yet. Now you do know. I've booked a PR company who are supporting me with marketing and communications regarding my brand because this is all part of my rebranding and reshaping my position in the dance sector and in the digital world, you know, marketing. So I've booked them, they're doing a fantastic job, so shout out to you guys. So I've printed off some of the, um, the mission statements that they wrote for me, which is really great, scripted, and I just thought, why not use this opportunity right now to talk about it and share it? So let's start with the mission, X, Y, and Z, blah, 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 insights, the podcast is called insights, it's not, I don't know, I feel like it's good, but I think that it's worn out, I don't know, oh my god, I cannot be bothered, I really can't be bothered, I'm going to try that again, watch this space. I'm like one falling, yeah. 